Hello everyone, I am a poor man. People specialize in movie review, but the my language is not very standard. Today I will share two short films on the topic of fiction. Control Z and In Chambers. The plot of these two short films is very interesting. Let's take a look at the first film. In Chambers, opening of the movie. This girl woke up in a strange room. This is our female lead. I found out that there was a wound on the female lead's forehead. This is just the beginning of the movie. We and the female lead don't know what happened in the end. Curiously, she walked over to the broken glass. She froze when she saw the sight outside. Because the scene outside was like the end of the world. Maybe the world had died out? In her mind suddenly flashed some bizarre images. Who was that man who appeared? Even more odd was that. There was an old man hiding under the bed in her room. The female lead looked scared. What the hell is going on? Right at that moment. Two people in green leather clothes entered the room. Then checked the number sequence on the female lead's hand. Asked if the female lead had ever met someone whose serial number was 2146. The man in green was described about number 2146. The female lead was shocked. Not only her, but I also shocked. But the female lead's eyes sold her opponent. The man in green spotted the old man hiding under the bed. Then injected him with a solution. Didn't know what it was. Then took him away. Currently, in the female lead's head was full of questions. At that moment, a little girl appeared. There was even a guy who spoke to her. The baby was hungry, he wanted to eat her food. When the female lead asked where this was, the other guy replied, I don't know either. He also just remembered that. Previously dismissed. Finally fainted in the trench. When he woke up, he saw himself here. Of course when he asked the female lead back. Then the female lead only felt a headache, but did not remember anything. But this was not the most urgent matter. The guy said the female lead was in danger. Because her number was 2148. The person who was just arrested was 2146. Then soon the female lead would also be taken away. He heard that the people who were taken away were left alone. In the shattered city that the heroine saw earlier. No one knew what was in there. Of course, that was what they said. But this guy didn't have a serial number. So didn't know whether this rumor was true or fake. Hearing that, the female lead was extremely shocked. Because almost everyone here had a code. Turned out he was an exception. Right at that moment. The man in the green suit stepped in again. This time they took the number 2147 away. Most of the people who were taken away, were fainting. It looked as though they would be sent to the place for execution. When the man in green left. The man asked, can you smell that smell? Every time they come here I smell it. The smell is very unpleasant. Just like the smell of medicine and something else. Soon it was her turn. As expected, the female lead did not just let them take her away. She locked the door and hid. Fortunately, the little girl helped her. The female lead hid in a crack. But when the girl ate, there was a sound. In the end, the female lead was still arrested and anesthetized. Then dropped to that ruined city. While falling, her mind appeared. Vehicle breaking and glass breaking. Change scene. The heroine gradually regained consciousness. She was lying in the hospital room. Lying in the same hospital room as her was an old man. The old woman kissed him lightly on the face. At this point, the scene changed again. This boy woke up. I remember he said that he was in a coma. Then he was locked here. Besides, he didn't have a coat, while the female lead did. When he woke up, he was arrested. So, that old man was this guy proof in this world. He was in a coma for decades. Never even woke up again. It feels like dream stealer. Honestly, this scene was quite emotional. After passing away, humans went to another world. Maybe when they were in a coma, they went to another world again. Very good idea, only see until the end to enlighten it. 
Next we talk about the second short film. Control Z, this short film is very interesting. Ed and Sarah went to a restaurant. They ordered food and talked. Sarah noticed that Ed always brought a square paper box. Saying paper box was not very standard. This was a type of wireless controller that Ed invented. In a way that was easy to understand, it was in save point. Like the save point we had while playing game. Suppose you failed to get through a stage or died. You could start over from the save point. This was what the box did. Naturally at first, Sarah was very curious about it. Try to touch it. But Ed was afraid that Sarah would spoil it, so he didn't let him touch. But out of curiosity, Sarah finally touched it. In order to prove that the device he invented had a save point effect. Ed started it up and stabbed himself with a knife. Who witnessed this scene without fear? But the blink of an eye, Ed revived. Then he continued to explain to Sarah what he just did. But because the friend also got F5, so all memories vanished. To prove what he said was true, Ed listed the upcoming events. For example, the waitress dropped the plate. Sarah was extremely surprised. That means what Ed said was true. Not a lie. The friend asked if he died before. Ed calmly replied only a few times. Sarah asked the device was capable of such miracles. If she could try it. So Sarah pressed the switch. Then stabbed herself. But actually this device. Only worked with the male lead's genes. So she did it like finding a way to die. Out of ways. Ed had to end his own life once more. Otherwise his friend will really die. Ed hated the touch of his friend. To his save point device. Anyway, he had to stab himself every time. It was not funny. With Ed. Explaining everything to her. Was not as important as the girl who entered the room. Ed found this girl very pretty. But Sarah said he did not deserve that girl. Ed said, you are not bored saying that aren't you? After saying that, the friend realized, she must have been stuck here for a long time. So she asked Ed, how many times, has this conversation been repeated? Seeing his friend were going crazy, Ed answered, 4,795 times. Summing it up together would be equal to three years. The friend couldn't believe it. I've been stuck here with you for over three years. Go flirting with you more than 4,000 times? Ed did a lot of research about that girl. But there wasn't any successful time. Sarah's face was stunned. But this was not the point. The point was that Sarah got angry at Ed's way of doing it. Though Ed looked like he had unlimited time. But Ed kept changing the past over and over again. Just for himself. Sarah felt that Ed was so selfish. If that was the truth. What did Ed consider her and the others? A chess man? But after talking a while, Sarah also calmed down. They went back to the restaurant. Sarah said, over three years, but you had not been able to get her phone number. Then this was impossible. Sarah asked, if I help you to complete this plan, then can you destroy this? I've had enough with that thing. If he could win the heart of the girl he loved, it didn't matter then to destroy this box. Unfortunately, Ed did not success after obeying Sarah countless times. He remembered the lines, but just didn't feel natural. In general, he tried everything he could think of. Fortunately, there was a saying from the Y. Tress. Of course, she didn't listen to anyone. Because she was sitting alone. Needless to think of it, such a beautiful girl. Why were she sitting alone? Of course because of the unhappy mood. Ed did not notice this. Ed thought he had a miracle thing. So he could change his life. But didn't know that sometimes it was not possible. This time Ed knew where the problem was. The conversation was more convenient than ever. Ed and the girl even had coffee together. The two people talked very happily. But in the end Ed still couldn't ask. The girl's phone number. Sarah was mad. She had been stuck here for three years. It was very difficult to progress. 
but he didn't ask that girl's phone number. Forgot about it. Ed and Sarah were going home. They saw the girl was waiting for Ed. She even took the initiative to give Ed her phone number. Ed was extremely happy. The friend asked, can we destroy this now? Anyway, a wish had come true. They didn't need to turn back time. But before destroying, the friend said he should just save it. To avoid wasting effort. This was a good idea, but when they were walking down the street, Ed did not notice a car rushing. So in the end Ed didn't stop. Experiencing the feeling of being hit by a car. This ending was really interesting. A very interesting short film. If you also have something like that, what would you like to use it for? Okay, today's episode ends here. See you later.